Comtown 3. This one, we already... Okay, so... Hello, everyone. Welcome to Comtown. Comtown 3. This is the big one, guys. This is the pressure's on because, uh, you know, we got a huge shout-out on NPR and That's on... That's right. Uh, Terry Gross. Terry uh, Gross. Shouted us out on More like Terry Gross-looking bitch, dude. Hey, hey. Take that, you fucking hey. short hair, haircut-having-ass bitch. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, no, we recorded a backup one in case we couldn't do this one, and it came out as garbage. It Adam sucked, ruined dick. it. We had Adam come back, and he ruined it. Uh, he wasn't talking in the mic. He wasn't paying attention. Just trashing Adam. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's how I feel. Can't defend himself I mean, I, it all. was partially my fault, but, you know, I, I blame him, too. So this is the third one. We got uh, Dan Soder. Is yeah. Oh, yeah. Which you're the real guest. You're the first time this we haven't had, a, like, a real guest for. Oh, Adam man. doesn't count. Cause Why doesn't Adam count? Him. He's just our friend. You know, he's, he's just a couple. You know, he's yeah, a he's he's like he's guess like third mic on the show. Anyways, you're gonna get a lot of train in this podcast. I love it. That's the fuck yeah. train, guys. We train. are it's the train live to at the top of the Empire State Building yes. in the new Anthony Cumia Studios. <laughs> yeah. We are live from the Baba Booey Studio <laughs> yeah. in the torch it's, of the fucking you get Statue there of and Liberty. you just uh, the button to get to the new Anthony Cumia Studios is just an N. <laughs> <laughs> and you press that one. Did you ever hear like, that Russell and Eve joke where he's like, did you guys hear that story about the Asian delivery driver getting trapped in the elevator for four hours? He couldn't find the R for Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Uh, that might I be the best it. joke I've ever heard. Yeah. Russell so. yeah. and Eve is hilarious. Yeah. We should quit comedy. Uh, yeah. You guys uh, all want to quit right now? Yeah. Let's do it. You want to play uh, WWE No Mercy? Fuck. Yes, I do. Do you have that? I haven't played yeah. a wrestling game since uh, like 1998. Well, guess good. what? This one came out in 2000, <laughs> right around that same time. Uh, no Mercy on 64. That's right. Oh, yeah. Then that, I probably played it. Yeah. Okay. Well, how about this Sunday? Why don't you bring your ass over here and jump in the mix with his with Stav's new character, Admiral Sex. Admiral Sex yeah. is my created character. Name. Dude, create a wrestler and create a skater. That was the greatest yeah. innovation oh, yes. in video oh, yeah. games. Uh, uh, are you talking about Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk, The yeah. only thing better than Creative Skater was <laughs> turning off gravity, where you just do $49 million. Yeah. Dollars, 49 <laughs> yeah. Million oh, yeah, hurts. you do that, and then, like, what's the point of even playing the game at that point? <laughs> like, I would finish, and then the score would be going off the screen. I'd be like, yeah, it was a good afternoon. Oh, Couldn't yes. you buy, like, jean shorts or something? If, if yeah, not. you could buy different stuff. Right, right, Yeah, right. I remember mine in uh, American Wasteland. I had, like, a blue genie guy that had a parrot on his shoulder. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we used to get super high off really terrible pot my freshman year of college and then order yeah. dominoes and then we would try to see who could get the most points in one trick yeah because if you did the thing what's it called where you uh keep the balance rail uh manual manual, manual. if you yeah. manualed off of like a trick and then you got to like another yeah you could keep those you, chains you going, going forever yeah so we'd get to like 49 million 50 million <laughs> yeah and it would be like when someone would fall or fuck up it would be it was uh, like ice skating yeah it's the only way i feel like someone would fuck up and we'd be like oh <laughs> it would be like heartbroken yeah. you'd cry oh it was well, so bad me and my friends used to play the first one and uh, it was like both pe – it was so easy. You, we had it down to like muscle memory to where you hit like start and then reset yeah. or restart the fucking like uh, immediately. And we had like a five-second rule like within the first five seconds. Yes. You could restart. Yeah. And you would just sit there and it would be two people playing and, who, you know, whoever loses, you pass off the controller. Right. But – on the that first like warehouse level where you double back around yeah and like grind on that half pipe and then do and the wall come back ride. down in through the yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would fuck it up every oh, time damn. and so we would sit there for like 45 minutes being like oh fuck oh fuck oh no re let me restart yeah, no oh, fuck. no <laughs> yeah, yeah. no dude if you fucking restart one more time <laughs> the school in the uh there was like a bus stop that was on like tony hawk three yeah we would play and I'd always put on Ace of Spades. In yeah. The <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> and I'd just be so my high. My favorite line in that song <laughs> is uh, is when he goes, uh, and don't forget the Joker. And he just like, oh, yeah. that's another. And by the way, there's another card that's cool. Yeah. What Joker about card. the Jack of Hearts? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm playing poker. Yeah. Hey, let me. Uh, I'm glad he's dead. Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that too far? No, yeah. let me. Let me dude, by the way, we are in some heavy train time. Yeah. yeah, it's back. Every time you hear that train, a woman is coming off of the train to fuck us, guys. I love that there's, yeah, there's always a train running when I'm trying to have a conversation and never when I need to ride the train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Should I do that? Is that a good bit? That's, that's a good, a, good, that's Thanks, a good one, dude. Yeah. That's a really good bit. Yo, I'll be on there. I'll be How trying to guys? get on that train, yo, and then it ain't ever there when I need it. Have you ever noticed this? That's a good this? bit, too. Yeah. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> um, um, 
I don't know if Dundalk guy would make that observation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't never been on a train. Too many <laughs> different kinds of Mexicans on there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got too many different types, yeah. Too many flavors, yeah. I know about Puerto Ricans and I know about Mexicans, and that's it, yeah. I ain't learning no R- Uruguayan motherfuckers, yeah. <laughs> <you know? laughs> <laughs> it's always that's funny when they have like spe- like when dumb shitheads like that always have like a like one or two really funny lines. Oh yeah, yeah. Because then you're like, how dumb are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. clearly. Well, there's, that's Walt basically. Remember? Walt oh yeah, Walt. Oh man, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we we bring up like um, I don't want to call him a shitty he, he a shitty comic because for for where he is. And yeah, he's he's shockingly talented. He murders. He fucking yeah. murders. This in, Dundalk, yeah, just Walt Ostrowski, bro. Yeah, um, uh, the guy looks like a fucking Twitter egg with a goatee. <laughs> if you put a goatee in the middle of the Twitter egg, and then you give him a Ravens hat and camo yeah. Ravens pants. The first time I met this guy, we did a show together at like in Federal Hill at some bar, one of those Color Me Funny shows. Oh yeah. And uh, I go into the bat. He used the bathroom before me, and I go into the bathroom after him. <laughs> And he had taken a shit and not flushed. Oh. <laughs> and it was just, just steakums yeah. floating in the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to do it like it's at my house. <laughs> I'm going to do it house style, take a dump. <laughs> and I, you know, but now, hold on. Not only did he not flush, no toilet paper next to the turd. Oh. So he just had shitted and then... <laughs> he would dry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a lot I'm, of I'm going commando. That's not what commando means, Walt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it Rambo style. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. How did you not call this podcast the Baltimore Boys? The Baltimore Bad Boys? Because Cometown is the best podcast Yeah, name. we wanted to have a lot of Also, the theme wasn't appeal. going to be Walt Ostrowski every single <laughs> yeah. fucking week. It should be, though. You guys should do a fucking homage to him a every time. Dive. We do get pretty deep into a shitty Baltimore comedy Yeah, we did. We mentioned uh, Tom Myers on the first one. We uh, we apprised a bunch of people of, of the great Tom oh, yeah, Myers. Oh, yeah, dude. If you don't know about Tommy Myers, we won't cover it now. We'll, yeah, we'll we already did that one. Oh, yeah, but I'll he's call. one of the best, dude. Yeah, Tom, Tom might be the best shitty comedian Oh yeah, I put him up against any anybody shitty comedian. Was anybody in like Denver? I didn't start. Oh, you started started in in Arizona, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Yeah, there was like there was this uh, Mexican dude that was from the South Side that he'd just get up at the open mics and he'd go, "He white people, (laughs) they always be like speeding." And he would murder. <laughs> he would murder. And he wouldn't be saying anything. I think his name was Smiley or something. Like, yeah, of course his name was Smiley. He goes, white people are always just like, die fucking spit. <laughs> and it would fucking annihilate. Dude, it would annihilate. They always have names like Smiley and they always have airbrush t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Smi- Smiley, spider just got shot, isn't it? Dude, there was a spider where I grew up. Uh, he was like, that but he was like a there was so here's the weird thing about denver it's mexico mm-hmm. <laughs> right, right. but only 200 years of whiteness right so there's right, a lot right. of mexican Over people top. there and there's a surprising amount of black people in aurora oh my door's opening <laughs> what do we got oh hey guys <laughs> um but there's there's this kid uh pueblo is like a huge um mexican city in in colorado Okay. Pueblo, Colorado. Really? And this kid, Jerry Garcia, <laughs> moved name. to uh, to Aurora when we were in middle school. Mm-hmm. And he was like straight, stereotypical cholo. Like, blood in, blood out. Had the unibrow, uh, uh, hair slicked back, always wore wife beaters. Was oddly muscular in eighth grade. <laughs> yeah. Like man body in eighth oh, grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah, kids yeah. had hit puberty at like four. And he had a mustache. He yeah. had like a little shimmy mustache. He was like super into like fingering girls. Like <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, what am I into yet? Fingering girls. No, but yeah. he'd be like, dude, I'm telling you, man, like Laura's pussy gets all wet and shit. And I, I just had a big head and I was like, I want to see boobs. <laughs> uh, I just want to see their boobies. Their lady parts oh, scare me. Yeah, dude, there were there were these like these kids were just talking in gym class in eighth grade and they were like talking about fucking a girl. Yeah. And I was just like I was doing the cartoonish like leaning over <laughs> way too close. They were talking about sex and they're like, Hey yo, he listening, yo, he listening, he ain't never fucked. Yo, and I was just humiliated in gym class. I was like, whoa, no, I'm not listening. I'm not. I've never. And the girls laughing at me like, ah, yo, yeah, you dude. ever fuck, yo. It's, so, like, it's funny when you see like um, 
uh, a lot of black dudes are much more liberated sexually than white dudes. Like, yeah, I ran a train with that on that bitch, and then guys would be like, I would never be in a room with another man. Yeah, but my... then they're also they're homophobic. Yeah, in that's ways. what's they're weird. like. I don't eat pussy because the penis went in the pussy yeah. at one point. Like, but you were touching your boy as you banged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. Your yeah, balls were dumb. clacking together like one of those fucking yeah. what are those machines called? Those ev- endless motion, perpetual motion machines. Oh, wow, dude, that? that's such a smart reference. <laughs> the clacky, like, balls clacking like those are pretty funny. Oh, those things. Oh, the new, uh, Newton? Newton machines. Newton, yeah. Newton balls, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember in sixth grade, this girl, Mikey L, Biggie just came out. Ready yeah. to Die just came out. Mm-hmm. And I was I was like 11, and I was like trying to be cool. Yeah, yeah. But I still wanted to go home and play with my X-Men action figures. <laughs> of course. Like, I was like waiting to get home to be like, I'm going to set up a fort on the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll probably turn the couch into Magneto's lair. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really did you gonna... did you actually like do that with the action figures and toys? Because I remember like toy yeah. commercials as Hell a kid. Yes. The kids were always like setting up scenarios with the toys, yeah. and I'm like, who actually does that? My, oh. my dumbass. Really? I did it too. Hell yeah. Yeah, I didn't even have that. I didn't do action figures ever. So but I you're... can't imagine. I didn't have an imagination. Well, <laughs> I, I think you did. I just think you have the emotional reins of a lizard. That's true. Yeah. Never. Your action yeah. figures just murdering each other. That, yeah. was, that was the whole thing. Yeah. It was just... Or it was just a. It was just a trial for a murder that <laughs> yeah. happened. You didn't even get the joy of like smashing your action figures into each other. You're just doing like a high ranked, high pressure o- OJ like trial of Wolverine. All I'm saying is. If the blades do not come out of his hands, <laughs> he clearly did not do it. He's just shredding the glove with yeah. the claws. <laughs> there you go, bub. But I was in sixth grade, and Mikey L was like, I did that thing where, and this is a life lesson I should have learned that day, but it didn't stick until I was about 28. But I go, oh, yeah, that new Biggie album. It's awesome. And she goes, is he a person or a group? And I go, oh. Got me stuck. Oh, so you were just because it was notorious B.I.G. and I was like, "There's no indication of singular or plural." I was like, "She said, is he a person?' Though I know I'm dumb. No, oh, she goes, right. is that a group or a person?' That's what she said. Oh, she was checking you. Damn. Yeah, she checked me. She yeah. caught me. I go, "It's a guy." She goes, okay, <laughs> and I go, "That's the right answer." <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "You don't know Biggie." I was like, "No, I don't know." Look, can I please finger you? Uh... I just want to go play with my eggs, man. <laughs> but then uh, when Jerry Garcia moved into town mm. and he was fingering all those pussies. That's right. <laughs> one day in eighth grade, my my best friend Byron was like, hey, Jerry Garcia, where's the re- rest of the Grateful Dead? Wasn't even a good zing. Right. Yeah. But you just don't res- disrespect like a young cholo <laughs> like that. Yeah. Dude, he lit Byron up with like six punches quick. Like, <laughs> Turns out he was fucking a Golden Gloves champ out of Pueblo. Uh. Holy so he just shit. fucking blasted him. Everyone was like, dude, the two toughest kids in my school that were Mexican were both Golden Gloves fighters. And they were like John Casados and Jerry Garcia. Jeez. One time there was a straight mini race war where the, uh, <laughs> this black dude named Carlton who's in prison. Get Carlton out of nice. prison. Uh, Free Carlton. Free, Free Carlton, Carlton, everybody. Jerry uh, or John Casados. It was, it was John Casados, Carlton, and this Asian dude named Solomon. And they all fucking fought. And everyone was like, this is crazy. Uh, it was a three-way fight? Yeah. Really? But it was like all minorities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, then the, white, the white teachers can't just... step in. They don't know no, what to do. They, yeah. can't, they it, probably orchestrated it somehow. They, were they didn't like me because that day I wore a, 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 throw, a fucking crown. And I just sat at the edge and I did the sideways <laughs> thumb. And then I gave them the thumbs down. Yeah. They're like, yo, man, I feel like this white dude's controlling all this. <laughs> That's my evil intention. Race wars. Do real think, race wars. Do you wars. think uh, different minority groups would team up if there was a real race war? Oh, yeah, Patrice sure. has that bit. Does he? Yeah. yeah. Whoops, he says, my like, bad. So you're a hack. Yeah, So yeah. way to be a hack on your hack. own. But no, I think it would... It I'm would deleting go- this one too, dude. We're getting Adam back. We're bringing Adam back. Bring Adam back. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be, yeah, I think it would be like Asians would go with white people. Mm-hmm. Mexicans would go... Mexicans would team up with the blacks, right? Yeah. I think Mexicans and like Indians. Ooh, no, no, no. Indians... That'd be 50-50. You don't know which way they go. Because, dude, I'm in Midtown. I see a lot of, like, young Indian kids, and they're just, like, they act black. Like, they drop the N-bomb. They, 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 act, they act black in the they way. They drop the N-bomb. They act Push black in the shove, way the white, white guys act black. See, we don't have Uyghurs anymore. Indians stole that from us. <laughs> yeah. So they're, they like, culturally appropriated our culture. No, no, because they... 
Indians, because they're they're all their families are like affluent. All their families yeah. are like doctors that make you know <laughs> millions of fucking dollars. So they're rich kids. All Every the Indians are, Indian. are rich kids. No, pretty much, dude. Like the average income for like an Indian family in America is like a hundred thousand dollars. Nice. That's the average. That we but yeah, get yeah. It. But uh, yeah, no, they stole they stole Wiggerdom from it because there aren't anymore. They don't have them. Ah, uh, there's Dundum. a dude. I don't know, man. I yeah. think you got to go. No, you gotta, that's just you like go a to the clothing stronghold. Yeah. Dude, I'll tell you this: Northern California, like Podunk, Northern California. Yeah. Like, oh, some good Colorado trash. But yeah. I mean, like a guy that's like, nah, I'm saying, nah, I mean, you know, like yeah, one yeah, of those. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. guys are still very few. But no, you but you're right it. though. As a culturally though, culturally, there's way more yeah. like Indian dudes doing that right now, and just Indian people in general. South I Asian, I would say. There was a, there was a kid that I remember from uh, middle school that would walk around with like an, a very affected pimp limb, <laughs> like that from class right. to class. Remember, there was well, a terrifying. And white people kid were like, my... "That's just how he is. That's his thing." There was and a it's kid. Like, I, I guarantee know. you, he's not doing that now at whatever bank he works at. I don't even want to say this guy's full name because he was legitimately terrifying. Yeah, his name was Andy. And he used to wear, I don't want to say his full name, he wore Afro Sheen in his hair. <laughs> That's how big of a wiggler he was. Yeah. Straight up. All, he'd be like, what's up, dog? But he was also a live wire. Yeah. That's why when Chappelle put out Killing Him Softly and he did that joke. Yeah, the about, joke about, about that. tell you about the yeah. most dangerous motherfucker in them groups. Mm -hmm. Immediately I thought of Andy. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know who that is and that he's fucking crazy. Yeah. Dude, Spider, we were talking about Spider. That's how it all got started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One night. Me and my friend Mike and Byron are sitting on Mike's driveway, right? And we're just hanging out. Suburbs, upper middle class neighborhood. Right. Middle class to upper middle class neighborhood. Straight up suburbs. And we're sitting there and this fucking Cadillac just comes rolling down <laughs> and takes a hard corner. And uh, Byron goes, I think that's Spider's Cadillac. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, but where's Spider going? He was going up the street towards our friend Joel's house. All of a sudden the Cadillac just fucking turns around, flips a bitch. It starts driving towards us, and we're like, well, this is kind of getting weird. Right. Fucking across the street, over the street, up the driveway. We're like, ah! We just take off, go around the side of the house to Mike's house, <laughs> jump the fence, get into his house, and shut the sliding glass door and lock it. And fucking Spider and Andy are just at the door, fucking beating on it. And we're like, ah! And then Wait, why, were, why were you afraid of them? Because they were going to kick the shit out of us. For what? What did you do? I don't know. Just they just started fun. running at us. Dude, oh, they just shit. broke out at us. We were going to stand there and be like, let's figure out what's going on. Right. These yeah. two dangerous dudes. And they just, they chased, obviously they were going to try to fuck us up. Yeah. Holy chased shit. chased us in the backyard. Dude, that was, it was so crazy because it was one of the things where I ran in the house being like, yeah, hey, we didn't have to do that. And I looked and I was like, yeah! They were, like, <laughs> yeah. they were there. Like, yeah. I, uh, there was a, there was like this guy that was like a wig that I remember when I was a teenager. A wig. Yeah. <laughs> Um, because that's you know you get to say that word. So yeah. I want to fucking. You really gonna yeah get yeah, your yeah. money's worth uh -huh. out of it. Yeah, definitely. So no, but he he one of the and he's like a dumb guy that said had like a great line. Yeah, and it's still one of the funniest things I've ever heard. We're like sitting around like a table, and uh, some like these two girls were talking about like IQs or whatever, mm -hmm. and she, one of them was like, "Well, my IQ is one twenty, so that's like really smart." And the other one's like, "Oh, really? Because mine's one twenty one." You know, and they're, like, yeah. they're like doing that back and forth. And this kid who's, you know, white bandana, white fitted cap, you know, yeah. like big white T-shirt. Where they dress like black guys, but then the clothes all have to be white. Like they have like <laughs> the white Air Force Ones. So you know? it makes them all look super pale. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they have to match their skin tone. They just do like a fucking, you know, like uh, where they take like uh, Sub-Zero and make him Scorpion. Yeah. So they look like a black guy. Like they just change. They do that. <laughs> where it's like the alternate outfit. Yeah. In where you were like, oh, dude, combat. check this out. This guy's got a white guy filter. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so he's sitting there. Light at the table. blue too. They like a lot of light blues. Oh yeah, yeah. Carolina blue baby. <laughs> he's star heels. <laughs> he's sitting there at the chair, like as completely slouched as possible, yeah. with his like pants basically pulled down to his ankles, like he's fucking, you know, just as relaxed as possible. And they're talking about IQs, and he goes, "Man, I ain't even gonna bring my IQ up because you wouldn't. Man, y'all wouldn't even believe me if I told you." <laughs> and I was like, "What's your IQ?" And he goes, and "He's like." 472. <laughs> <laughs> what a dipshit. Dead serious. <laughs> what a dipshit. 472. What a dipshit. I was like hyperventilating. <laughs> yeah. 
I think because they delivered it in a way where it was like the funniest fucking. Did oh, yeah. he was he trying to be funny? Or was he no, to... he was dead serious. Oh yeah, all those dudes. He was dead serious. All those dudes thought they were so. Smart. Yeah, no, he was going. I remember he was always like, "I work for BMW, man. I make six figures. I work for BMW." And he was a, like a detailer at like a BMW. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. I totally forgot about those kids that would brag about adult stuff. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There was yeah. this white girl who was a wigger. <laughs> and she reached out to me on Facebook. Nice. Because she saw Recently? me. Recently? Yeah, she saw me on Showtime. <laughs> and so she was like, oh my God, you doing things. And I was like, you're in your 30s. Yeah. You're still doing this? You're in your 30s. She was like, hot. I'll show yeah, you a yeah, picture yeah. of her. She was hot, yeah, but yeah. she would just fuck with like thugs. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. hardcore thugs. Right. And she, uh, we were in math class, and it's so funny you bring that up. And people just straight lying because she go, "Yeah, my dad owns Bally's." And I was like, <laughs> "What? Yeah. Did a go, company go out of business?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this was back when they were like kind oh, yeah. of the, the, the like the hot. Thing. They kind of were like, the hot gym for their. She for goes, a sec. "Yeah, my dad be owning Bally's." I was like, "Why do you live in Aurora?" <laughs> yeah. and she was like. Because my mom's from here, my dad wants me to like grow up like my mom. It's just like dumb shit like yeah, that. Yeah, always a lie, always a bullshit lie. Yeah, my friend, my friend told like a fucking great lie when we were like teenagers. He goes, uh, "I wasn't there for it," but he told our other friend. He's like, uh, "Yeah, when I'm like high and shit, I can like understand German." That's hilarious. <laughs> the language. I can't speak it, but when I'm high, I can understand. He'd never taken German. It's just the similarity between yeah. English and German. Dude, Dude, the love, you think about all those like shithead middle school, high school lies that you would tell? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, we were using my mom's old Forerunner to um, take out trash cans. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I used to fucking, I used to, t- I, my first car was a fucking uh, uh, Chevy Blazer. And we, yeah. would s- we would set up in the Pizza Hut. There was a Pizza Hut connected to like a fucking giant and a fucking... Just a, a shitty strip mall in in Dundalk, actually, and we would just set up like, uh, uh, shopping cart obstacle courses, and I would just smash through <laughs> shopping carts in the fucking. And How then, fun is it? Yeah. Once it's you the get, most fun. Once you get through the actual thing of like, oh no, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Once you've committed yeah. just, to smashing shit with a car, yeah. So we had my mom's four hundred. I didn't have a car. I think my car died or something. So I, we're driving around, and I was like, hey, we should take out. I thought it was funny. I was like, let's let's take out these trash cans. It was like, boom. Yeah. And then it just became the whole night's activity. Of course. We just like running shit over. But we were trying to push a porto potty over. <laughs> we were trying to push it over. And then we drove by it. And I like tried to push it with my hand. But it fucking didn't. It just jammed my hand. And I go, oh, I broke my arm. I broke my arm. And my friend Joel was recording me on his hand. <laughs> It was back in the day at camcorders. He goes, I don't think you broke your arm. And, go, I don't, and then like five minutes later, he lost the videotape, but five we've watched oh. we watched it as adults. Five minutes later, he's sitting there, he goes, Hey Soder, has your broken arm? I go, Shut up, I didn't break my arm. <laughs> it was one of those lies. Where I was like, yeah. No, guys, I really did. I broke yeah, my yeah, arm. Yeah, I'm not fucking around, yeah, guys. I definitely didn't. Dude, yeah. <laughs> fucking middle school kids lies. Yeah. Uh the bet. Um, that actually the, the car thing, I kept doing that into well into my twenties. Really? Yeah, me and Jake Flores. Jake Jake used to have this piece of shit Ford Focus, and I had, like, a shitty 96 Explorer. And uh, we would uh, – yeah, one time, Chris Cubis, another comic, he had to, like, move. Yeah. And so he was, like, asked me and Jake to help him move. And within 30 minutes of helping him move his stuff, like, one of us just dropped something and it broke. Yeah. And then we were like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> And then we just started trashing all of his stuff <laughs> in his, like, former apartment. We, like, took his bed frame and threw it through the wall. And, like, Chris didn't give it. We were just drunk. You know, yeah. it was, like, the, it was, like, noon. We were trashed. It was Wednesday. And we were doing, like, a bit. We were, like... Like, this would be a funny sketch. It's called, like, Quality Movers. And yeah. just destroy everything. But there's no camera, so it's not a sketch. We're just <laughs> crashing. Just destroying we're just, yeah. And so he had this old computer monitor. And uh, we're like, I'm taking the thing over my head and throwing it at, uh, you know, the wall and yeah. shit and smashing holes in the wall. And we're throwing it all over the, the parking lot trying to smash this computer monitor. but uh, So CRTs, those like cathode ray tubes, yeah. the screen is like an inch and a half of glass. Yeah, those old computer monitors yeah, are yeah. thick as they're, fuck. They're hard yeah. as shit to break, but inside, because the way those things work is it's this like gun that shoots electrons at the screen real fast, and that's yeah. what makes it light up, and you know it's like precise. But So 
it's got to be a vacuum on the inside. So when you finally break that screen, it fucking implodes. Oh, and it's shit. like a really cool thing to see. <laughs> so, you know, and I know that. So I was like, we got to. <laughs> I, I had been in that previous situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, guys, we got to destroy this thing. And we're trying all these ways to get it to smash and we can't do it. So eventually we took the, like just the cord to it and tied it to the back of Jake's car. <laughs> And then I was, like, riding it, and he was just driving it through the fucking parking lot, and I fell <laughs> off, and he's, like, going around corners and smashing it into, like, fire hydrants and shit. But, uh, yeah, no, we were, like, what, what finally did it? Um, I think that did it. It, we, like, hit a curb, and it popped and shit, and it was kind of underwhelming. Chris had another TV. Chris had, like, a 36-inch CRT yeah. that we brought. We moved into our new the one the apartment me and Chris moved into. Yeah. With the intention of we're gonna fucking destroy this thing at some yeah. point, right, right. and I, there was one night I was drunk and I was like, either I'm buying PS4 or a shotgun from Cabela's, <laughs> so I can shoot this fucking TV. <laughs> and I ended up buying the PlayStation, which well, is still man. a waste of money. But uh, I don't know. I think the shotgun you would have done that. I would have killed like, myself. Yeah, I yeah. would have done the TV, and then the next thing would have been, like, like, or you would have hit someone with a buckshot. Yeah. And been like, I don't know. Now you have to do a comedy benefit once a year for your friend that's in a wheelchair. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you decided to fucking, to play s fucking Sarah Connor and try to do a one-armed cock of a yeah, yeah, yeah. shotgun. Yeah, yeah. Which is the one that you spin? Oh, He's no, got the no way, man. That's a repeater. The... Yeah, a repeater. You don't want a repeater. Yeah, yeah. Do You'll fucking thing. blow your goddamn foot off. <laughs> Best case scenario. Yeah. Uh, nah, we had fun. That man. was, yeah. The Those stories of the fucking... I the alcoholism days are pretty hilarious. Yeah, yeah Austin. No, I want to start drinking again. Just no. like you know, this, <laughs> this kind of decisions, man. I got pulled over one time. I had to like fly back uh, to see my family for Christmas. So it was the day before Christmas Eve, and I went out to a bar with like Joe Stats, and I had like nine beers. <laughs> And I got me and Jake had fought the night prior to that, so I had like a giant black eye. <laughs> and I had nine beers, and then I took a beer. Somehow they just let me take a beer with oh, me cool. from the bar, nice. which is not I don't yeah. know. So I'm driving, and Joe's trash too, and I'm like I have like a tall boy <laughs> on my lap. And then I I pass by this cop, and I'm like immediately I'm like fuck shit fuck your cop fuck. And then the cops following me, I'm like shit. And then I like. There's a red light, and I like pull halfway into it, like while the light's still red. And I'm just like fucking up. I'm like, God damn it! And then Joe's like, Just take a left here, take a left here. And he's like, You know, in my ear. And uh, light turns green. I turn left. I've turned left onto like a divided highway. So I'm like going the wrong way down the divided highway. And Joe's like, Just jump the curb. Just jump. The, just jump the curb. And I'm like, I'm like, No, man. I'm like, This. I'm fucked. You know. So I'm like, I'm going to jail, and I fucking just pull off in the first side street. I put my hazards on, and I'm like, I can't believe this, dude. I'm fucking... Wait, the cop light lit you? I pulled over first before he could light me because I had fucked up. So I put my emergencies on. I just pulled over, and I was waiting for him. And then, you know, I, you know, I threw the hazards on. I'm like, I'm going to jail. I'm fucking going to jail. But then the cop pulled up behind me and threw the hazards on. And then, like, somehow he comes to the window. I'm like, I can't believe this shit. And I roll down the window, and the cop's like, hey, how you doing tonight? I'm like, yeah, I'm real sorry about that. And then, like, me and Joe were just, we did, it. first of all, a lot of it is just white privilege. But, yeah. like, uh, you know, immediately I was like, yeah, fuck, I'm sorry about that. Um, you know, I'm driving him home. He's giving me directions, and he's fucking trashed, you know, or whatever. Yeah. And uh, Joe's, like, screaming already, you know? <laughs> He's, like, just hamming up how drunk he is or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I had, I had given the beer in Perfect. my lap to Joe beforehand. He just poured it on himself and crammed it under the seat. So the cop's like, okay, so you know why you're pulled out? I'm like, yeah, obviously. He's driving the wrong way down the thing. He's like, okay. Uh, He's like, have you been drinking tonight? And I was like, I had, like, two beers, you know? Um, I was like, I had one with, like, dinner and then another one, you know, just right before we left the bar. You know, but I'm not, like, drunk or anything. He's like, okay, well, can you get out of the car just so I can make sure all that smell is coming from him? I was like, yeah, sure. And then still in my head, I'm like, I'm going to jail. Yeah. yeah. And so the cop brings me around behind the car, and he's like, just hang tight for a second. And then he, like, talks. Just goes and just beats the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to whoop your drunkard friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they talked to Joe, and they come back over to me, and the cop looked just like David Bowie. Oh, weird. <laughs> he looked like a butt, like a jack David yeah. Bowie. Yeah, yeah, Like a cop David He's Bowie. He's like Major Tom the Grand yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got a couple of black guys wandering around the back of the bank. <laughs> Young Americans, they were black and they were driving. <laughs> yeah. And they deserved it. Um, yeah, so... 
Uh, so this cop looked just like David Bowie, and like drunk part of my mind is like, tell him he looks like David Bowie. Oh, he'll think that's man. he'll think that's like cool. You'll ingratiate yourself to the cop. He's gonna be like, oh, for real, man. You know, oh, yeah. yo, I Thanks, love the dude. Star Child. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, luckily, I didn't. You know, he was like, okay, like I, you know, I do smell alcohol. And he's like, you only had two drinks, and he's like, are you telling the truth? And I was like, yeah, it was two. It was like one with dinner, and then one just now. He's like, okay. He's like, I do smell a little alcohol in your breath. I don't think you're lying to me. You know, if you'd said you hadn't been drinking, then we'd have a fucking issue. But, you know, he's like, uh, I'm going to let it slide. So he's like, um, what you want to do? And he, like, brings me back to my car. And he's like, you just go around here, you know, uh, take a right. And then, you know, make sure you get on the right side of the road, you know, coming around. I'm like, all right, thanks. You know, and then he, um, I'm, like, just sitting there with Joe. I'm like, holy fucking shit. I can't believe that worked. And as I was saying that, the cop was like, ah! He was back at the window. He's like, yeah, you forgot your ID. You know? Oh. And I was like, thanks, man. You know? <laughs> yeah. And I really have no idea how I got out of that one. Holy fuck. Yeah. I was, uh, when I was 16 or 17, we did mushrooms. Yeah. Me and my buddy did mushrooms and we ran out of cigarettes. We just ate the mushrooms. We were like, we're going to need cigarettes. Because when you trip, when I used to trip in high school, I used to love to smoke. <laughs> like two packs. You must have been cool as hell. Oh, uh, dude, I was so much sk- pussy. Actually, I wasn't. I had sex once in high school. And that dude. was it. But um, nice, dude. I dry fucked a lot. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I came in my pants a lot. We we figured it out. That's right. what first base is. It's a walk. <laughs> if you come in your pants. Oh yeah, I walked. It's a, a walk. Lot. Yeah, yeah. I walked a yeah. lot. Um, I didn't fuck at all. But we uh, so we ate um, we both ate an eighth of mushrooms. Mm-hmm. But I ate mine first. Probably 30 minutes before he did. And mm-hmm. I ate it, and then he came over and ate his. And I was like, yo, we gotta go get cigarettes. And he's like, all right. But I, his mom dropped him off. He's mm-hmm. like, I don't have a car. I was like, drive my car. Drive my car. We'll go get we'll go get cigarettes. He's like, all right. So we're taking, like, this back way. Yeah. Something, something, And I'm like, oh, I'll take it right here. And he runs a red light. Like, barely runs a red light. Fucking cop right behind us. We're like, fuck. Pull us over. That's how I knew the mushrooms started working because the red and blue lights uh, yeah. on the inside of my car. And this is like dusk. So it's just starting to get dark. And it's like uh, they were like hitting each other. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. And uh, he's like freaking out. My, my buddy Mike's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Right. I'm like, just wait. So it's, it's a, a lady police officer comes to the, to the door. I'm like, miss, uh, officer, I'm so sorry. This is my car. I'm planning on drinking tonight. And so I wanted my friend to drive it just so I can make sure when I was sober that he could. And I was just like mushroom talking. Yeah. yeah. She's like, like, okay. Can I see both of your licenses? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. We both give her our license. And she's like, okay. And then goes back and we're melting down. Mike yeah. and I are oh, melting Christ. down. Like, dude, I can't go to jail on fucking mushrooms. I'm going <laughs> to fucking die in there. I can't yeah. do it. And he's like, dude, it'll be all right, man. I don't know. Like, I'm going to, they're going to take my license. Like, she better not look at my pupils. We're waiting for like five minutes. And it's starting to get fucking pretty. Like, are they, what are they doing? Are they calling for backup? Right, right. Yeah, you yeah. just don't know. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. And she comes back and she just hands us both of our licenses. And she goes, you boys are having the luckiest day of your life. There was a shooting that we need to report to. So you guys are good to go. And get like, out of here. Uh, yeah. Like he drove away. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm so glad that four year old got shot. Today. Yeah. Uh, it's, apparently there was something at the Batman movie. You're like, Aurora, baby. A town. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's known for. It's yeah. James Holmes. Yeah, James Holmes. Who's, by the way, not even from Aurora. He's from San Diego. Oh, oh, why was he there? Yes. Just for the shooting? You would uh, rather? No. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it was a really nice shooting theater. Yeah. He's like, I heard the acoustics is awesome. <laughs> yeah. The bounce off a sawed off. <laughs> really. I want to do my live album. You ever see those, you ever see those, uh, those cedar chains that are, uh, it's like, I think they're called Tinsel Town. And they yeah, got this like, stupid, great. they have them in Texas. These like ridiculous movie theaters with this fucking, you know. I like uh, to think of it like shooters do shootings like they're doing an album. Yeah. Like, where are you going to do your mass shooting? He's like, yeah. ah, I was thinking about Santa Barbara. Yeah. But I feel like the tack. Uh, yeah. I want to do Colorado. Like, no, a lot of good shootings there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I st- you know, it's like Columbine's the classic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to do Columbine? Yeah. I don't Dude, know. What it's not do about doing it. It's about doing your own thing with it. It's like yeah. playing with it, you know? Maybe dress up like the Joker. Yeah. yeah. That's oh. what's so funny. I, 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 could, I could not 
stop laughing at that when what? <laughs> when, well the Joker thing that you know yeah. the shooting happened and it's like yeah he he thought he was the Joker <laughs> yeah, but, that's, <laughs> but that's also that shows you he's he uh so he was a med student at the University of Colorado and the University of Colorado built two hospitals in Aurora to kind of yeah. like build up Aurora because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Aurora is like a it's a dilapidated suburb a little methy you, you uh say? not really it's just kind of it's like you know middle class it's the okay. evaporating middle gotcha, class gotcha, gotcha, the lower gotcha. middle it's which it's is like all- um have you ever seen the movie suburbia with flea no, no. <laughs> it's this like early 80s like it's in the same vein as um like uh river's edge if okay. you've ever seen river's edge yeah but yeah it's got flea in it when he's 16 okay he's like really? punks in suburbia yeah that's basically what but it's, it's like. all worn down like all the houses are vacant and shit yeah they're not like yeah close to vacant like now it's not what it used to be type of thing it, you could tell it was super nice in the 70s right 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 all the architecture you're like this was really nice in the 70s right. that's weird yeah. about like we all live in new york like big cities you watch like i've watched all these old buildings come down and new buildings go up and they try to update it, but suburbia motherfuckers just keep, especially in Colorado, they just keep moving where there's n- untouched land. Right. Yeah. They're like, oh, we'll just build. So you can actually see the decades. Right, right, yeah, Especially right, right. in Aurora, where you're like, oh, this was big in the 80s. This right. was nice in the 90s. This was nice in the early 2000s. And now it's like, you know, the McMansions. Oh, so it's yeah. like starting to move out. So, uh, so the University of Colorado brought in hospitals to, like, stimulate the economy of Aurora. And James Holmes was like a medical student there, and he was—I think he was either schizophrenic or bipolar, mm-hmm. but he was off his meds. He actually—he's an agent of chaos. <laughs> <laughs> really identified. What if he was the Joker the entire time? Yeah. Like, ah, this guy. They should get him for the new movie. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let him out of jail because, like, to be honest, he was the best Joker. <laughs> Heath Ledger was good, but I James like Holmes was. I'm the still best. sticking Nicholson. Nicholson. Yeah. Nicholson's like, I want to go meet the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how he did his role. If a guy shot up the movie theater acting like Jack Nicholson, <laughs> you thought <laughs> he was Jack Nicholson. Yeah, yeah. 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 God damn it, chief! I'm gonna kill all of them. <laughs> Yeah. Why don't we broaden our horizon? Lawrence? Like, Are you playing Bat Dance? Carol the Waitress meets yeah. Simon the Fag. Yeah. He's playing Bat Dance while he's shooting them. He's got his own boombox. Yeah. Lawrence? <laughs> That's all they hear before he starts getting shot up. Party man! A new man in town! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was like a, that was that was super fucked up. So I I gotta make I gotta make good to bring oh, Aurora yeah, yeah, back yeah, into yeah, the spotlight. Yeah, dude, and you're doing it. You're killing it right now. You <laughs> yeah. just had the special drop. You did album cut. drop, album special drop, drop, special drop, and you're on um, the award winning Paul Giamatti show. It hasn't won any awards. Oh well, well I, I mean, hope it does. I just I th- I just thought that was just a thing you say about things. Yeah. I didn't realize, I, I didn't no, you don't think those are, you don't realize those are based it's on actual some things. Kind yeah, of, yeah. Some kind of independent spirit award or something. Yeah, you gotta have. And if, That'd be cool. Paul, Paul Giamatti is an award in and of itself. Yeah, he's he's like yeah. a little trophy. I've won the Paul Giamatti, which is a handshake Dan, from Paul Giamatti. Good to see you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Giamatti. I don't like it. Dan, Dan, how's it going? <laughs> he's just an asthmatic nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. I am always about to have a heart attack. That's, yeah, that's it's almost a mind. Richard Nixon meets Paul Giamatti. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He, um, I'll tell you why I like him so much. Yeah. Besides him being a super nice guy, at the premiere, Judah Freelander was there, and Paul was saying hello to everybody. Then he saw Judah and lit up. He was like, yeah, Judah! Yeah. And I was like, anybody that likes Judah Freelander that much, yeah, I'm way on board with. That's great. Any, fa- any famous person, any super He's a famous. litmus test. Alec Baldwin and Paul Giamatti. Oh, yeah. Alec, Alec Baldwin is a guy. Do you know Phil Burke? The kid that does, uh, he does like mics and shows around New okay. York. But he did some bar show on the Lower East Side, and Alec Baldwin was there. And he's like, I want to make you famous. He said that? Yeah. And he's like, he gave, he gave him his like <laughs> agent's it. info. And like, Phil was like beaming. He came to Cabin afterwards. He's like, yeah, I can't believe it. And uh, he's still just doing mics. And he's, he's just never heard yeah, from Two years Alec later, Baldwin. nothing happened. I did, a, I did a movie with Alec Baldwin, and I got a picture. And that's nice. all I wanted. Yeah. That's great. I don't do pictures ever. You never ask for pictures? Well, because they're celebrities. They I, they make me look like shit. Why would I want a really shitty picture of me? You know why I wanted a picture with him? Because he was so nice. I was going through a breakup, and he he just sat there and talked to me about yeah. it. He really? Dick. Dude, we... Get out of here. We ate a plate of french fries and we, gossiped would... about girls. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Wow. How have you not told this story before? Yeah. I, I can't it. was awesome. It. He like, sat there, and he's like, she wasn't for you. 
<laughs> you say stuff like that? Where he goes, I'm telling you, someone got in your ear. <laughs> Dude, how much more does advice from Alec Baldwin land than from, like, even your best friends? My, your best friends could tell you my something. My dead father could come back, <laughs> and it wouldn't be as much as Alec Baldwin. <laughs> By the way, talking about it, here's the weird thing. He was talking, he was like, you know, I went through a, he's like, I went through a tough divorce in 2000. I want to be like, yeah. Kim Basinger. Yeah, we yeah. all know about it. Everybody knows about you that. You called too. your daughter a rude pig also. We, rude we boy. <laughs> you called your daughter a rude boy. <laughs> yeah, be real mean yeah, <laughs> boy. Um, but it was so crazy that he was just like, here's what I'm going to tell you. Don't get married before 35. He like just told me all this <laughs> awesome stuff, and I was like, yes, Alec Thank Baldwin. you, Alec. Well, I feel like that applies if you're Alec Baldwin, because Alec Baldwin at 35 was right ar- around when he started you know, swelling. You know, <laughs> like he became like a very. Oh, you're saying when he was like physically super handsome, dude. He, he oh yeah, he used go. to be a beautiful man, and then something happened. Where he's, he's still good looking, older he's still man. Good, oh, he's looking, killing it for. He's good you know, looking, but he, yeah, he has that thing where like some guys just start to expand. They never get fat; they just take up more space. <laughs> right. Yeah, it looks like they're taking on water. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, but the way the, yeah, yeah, so yeah, the way a corpse pin. does. It's yeah. like Alec Baldwin like was on some boat that disappeared, and then he washed up on the shore. Six months later. Are you a gypsy curse? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were you almost enslaved by pirates, by Hong Kong pirates? <laughs> Hong, Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong pirates. Yeah. We are not African pirates. We are Hong yeah. Kong pirates. Listen to me. Listen. I do. I am not African pirate. Pirate. <laughs> I'm Hong Kong pirate. I live with Hong those Kong. people. I live with all Hong Kong pirates. <laughs> this is a dumb thing. What you call Chinese people? Yeah. yeah. Hong Kong what a pirate. great name. What a great yeah. name. Well, oh, you me and my Hong Kong pirate. <laughs> yeah. The grandmother doesn't speak any English at all. So Does she I mean, like you? I could call her Hong Kong pirate. I don't know. That's so, also a great band name. Yeah. Hong Kong pirates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. yeah. And then I have to open every show with. <laughs> One, two, three, four. They got a hype man that just plays the gong. I think I'm too busy. Gong. Gong. The beginning mm, and that's the show, so woke. Yeah, I can't tell if yeah. she likes me or not. <laughs> I love being woke. N- nothing on this podcast is woke. We don't do any kind We're of. We're the anti woke podcast. Yeah, <laughs> you should no. call it the asleep podcast. Yeah, yeah. my girlfriend, the sleepy boys. Yeah, yeah. The sleepy boys. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't woke. We ain't never gonna be woke, bitch. Yeah, yeah. We're sleepy boys. I'm on Xanax. I'm using slurs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using Tell slur. St- I'm on it. The guy, your boy, on Ambien. Telling stories about white privilege <laughs> get me out of conflicts with the police, <laughs> but I. Act like it's intelligence. You know what I hate is wiggers. I can't explain why, but there's something about them that pisses me off, just, man. Just why would you? They're just Sleepy traitors. Boys. I see them as traitors. Yeah, they're Sleepy traitors. Boys. <laughs> Sleepy boys. Sleepy boys. Uh, yeah, no, I can't tell if the if the Chinese people I live with like me or not because the language is so harsh <laughs> that like you know, like I love you in Chinese is like bang out out. Yeah. Think about. He say he rip your face off. <laughs> oh, but it was so tender. Oh, no, very no tender. <laughs> he say he no like you at all. <laughs> he find you to be disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, no one outworks immigrants. Like yeah. you live with an immigrant. If you live near immigrants, yeah. you start, you're like that guy works. Oh yeah. They, like I remember this dishwasher I worked with yeah. at the restaurant. Uh, he was from Ghana. His name was Lasaw, and he wouldn't sleep. Yeah, he was this African dude, and he would like always brag that he never slept. I'd yeah. be like, Lasana, where do you sleep? He'd be like, I do. I go to a park. I lay down for ten minutes on yeah. bench. <laughs> I, I go to my next job, and yeah. then I come here. I was like, Oh my god, I got six, and I am beat. For, <laughs> yeah. for energy, I crush spider in yeah. bowl and yeah. drink blood. I don't know if you know this, yeah. but I take the vapor. From the dish machine. <laughs> and it gives me power. I am like a locomotive. Yeah. I am steam engine. I burn it. He just he only gets tired when he can't find albinos to eat. Yeah. <laughs> to kill I consume the whitest people. <laughs> in order for me to be the king. I am the king. Yeah, no, it's because immigrants don't know about happiness yet. It's yeah. there. It's always there. I'm the shitty yeah. kid. I think it's I don't think it's happiness as much as uh, immigrants don't think they're worth, uh, well, they, or they don't feel entitled to 
uh, being uncomfortable. They don't feel entitled. And it's also like if they're a straight up immigrant, like less of the culture is really for them or accessible. Like what what is the old Chinese grandmother I live with going to do this weekend? Go see the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, maybe. She's going to go see Lady Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. That's not going to happen. I don't She's think it's called sit- Lady <laughs> Ghostbusters. It's called it's Lady not a, Ghostbusters. It's not a fucking it's called, college it's called, team. Hey, it's called Miss Ghostbusters. Yeah, Miss <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Sorry, sorry I got Ghostbusters pronouns wrong. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Well, don't worry. It's the Sleepy Boys. Yeah. So you don't have to be woke. Yeah. Um, but also it's that thing of like, I think even children of immigrants in an American thing is you think you have the right to not be uncomfortable. So when you're uncomfortable, mm. you're like, I'm uncomfortable. Yeah. Right, and right, you take right. that as like pain. What? Where like immigrants work like immigrants work like 100 hours and their hands are bleeding yeah, from yeah, their yeah. being dry. And they're like, well, that's not pain. That's yeah. uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. Right, the, right. It's funny because, I mean, I, I live in a tenement with these this Chinese family. Yeah. And it's close quarters and the hot water's off all the time and they have no recourse. They can't. I mean, I've complained to 311. It does nothing. And they just have to live like that. They do all their laundry in the fucking shower and they live off pennies. And uh <laughs> So when you're planning on moving out? Well, right. that's the thing is, like, I'll tell people about it. And, like, I, even Ari was like, yeah, human beings aren't supposed to live like that. And it's yeah. like, but referring to me, I'm like, no, plenty do. Plenty, <laughs> right, right, plenty right, of right, them right. do, uh, and they're fine with how it. I they're like, how do, you do, how do you do that? And it's like, well, I mean, the Chinese do it. And they're like, yeah, but, then, you know, they're yeah. different somehow. <laughs> they're <laughs> not people. And, you know, it's funny. I love, because uh, it's on the Lower East Side. Is there's all these like you know people like tourists will come and they'll go to the tenement museum and go on walking <laughs> tours of the Lower East Side and they'll be like walking past Chinese families that live in the Lower East Side and they're like, yeah, can you believe how hard um, immigrants used to struggle in this neighborhood? But I mean like like the good kind of immigrants, yeah. Yeah. not no. the kind that had the yeah. soupy language that right. we don't understand. Like you know the suspender mustache guys, the organ grinders, <laughs> the kind of immigrants who like to romanticize. Not Remember the guys who used to wear. Paper boy hats. Yeah, <laughs> not the ones that spend all their time squatting and smoking illegal cigarettes. <laughs> it's contaminated with fucking Chernobyl radiation. Yeah. Russian old Moscow yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. Not those kind of immigrants. boiling chicken hearts. Yeah, <laughs> nah, but they do it. And I mean, I, I actually like have a lot of respect for them. Um, yeah, yeah, and they've been like super cool. They, they, uh, they kind of almost like my heart melted when the FBI came to my apartment yeah. looking for me, and I wasn't there. And the fucking dad was like. Even if they come back, we tell them we don't know you. Yeah. And you're like, like, are you my new dad? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had no he had no clothes on when he said that too. He was wearing his boxers, he eating fish eyes off a plate with chopsticks. And he's like, oh, yeah, we tell them we don't know you. It's okay, it don't matter. I tell them, fuck off. Yeah, you ain't oh, cool don't with need me. Police. We call transporter, send you to Hong Kong. Yeah. Don't we, get tra- we get transporter to bring you back to Hong Kong. Open, open hard by your Chinese family. <laughs> <laughs> Is your name Nicholas Mullen? <laughs> well, here's the deal. I've got about 15 minutes to put you in the back of this BMW before half the triads and the FBI come looking for both of us. So get in right now. Yo. Hi, I'm the transporter. <laughs> we call transporter! <laughs> yeah, transporter! Transporter! Uh, 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 I see him the, right there. The, <laughs> casu- the casual conversation. How you doing, Ling? Yeah, I'll come pick up your boy. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, HK. Nice. Hope you don't run into Hong Kong pirates. <laughs> uh, that's a trailer for the movie Callback with Jason Statham. Yeah. It's just all callbacks. Yeah, yeah. Something no, I didn't Jason's, get from SNL. How, how does Jason Statham not have a podcast? That would be the number one celebrity podcast. That well, would immediately Jason be... Jason Statham puts together IKEA furniture. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a frustrating podcast. All You're listening goes, to What the Fuck with Jason Statham. <laughs> I listen. I just go through the newspaper and go, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh, hey, look, Donald Trump ahead again. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Speaking of Donald Trump and British guys, I saw Jeff Leach at Stand Up oh, New York the other mm-hmm. night, and uh, he was doing a bit, and his rings fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Did he disappear? No, no, no. It he was just it was so funny that he just he waved his off. He waved, yeah, he waved his uh, he waved his hand, and all of the rings came off, and then went into the what's audience. What's your what's your policy on accessories for comedians? Uh, it's Harsh a, anti. It's it's yeah. It's it counts as a prop. 
Yeah. And a prop that you If you have a leather into. band on your wrist. You got to go, yeah. buddy. I will, I'm going to gun for you to chop your arm off. <laughs> yeah. We should have machetes. <laughs> yeah. Shria law. <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, my friend Ruby was telling this story one time. She was, she was like, yeah, when I started comedy, I like would always have to have my sunglasses on my head. Because I wanted to be like, that's the girl with the sunglasses on her head comic. Oh. And I was like, that doesn't make that's any sense. That's not how that works. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> yeah, it's not like... <laughs> You're not yeah. a Smurf. Yeah. You're a fucking comedian. Yeah, you're not a tertiary Smurf. Yeah. yeah you're a fucking... Sunglass Smurf. Yeah. Yeah. That's how they notice me. I'm a sunglass Smurf. <laughs> Yo, fuck boys. I gotta get going. No All right. Worries, uh, yeah, no, normally we do like a break, but that um, that was like, that's enough time. Nah, I we think, went, yeah. Yeah, you gotta, um, you gotta go do... Uh, fill the quota? Shit. Yeah, yeah fill the quota. gotta go do a show that, I forgot about. That one went well, I yeah, think. that was a good one. Dude, we came up much... with Jason Statham's podcast. That's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> that I feel like that was good. I don't think we let any of the listeners down. No. Uh, we also created a better name for Come Town, the Sleepy Boys. Sleepy Boys. Yeah, Sleepy it's Boys. That would be yeah, the um, the Umwo crew. Um, I'm telling you, you could change it now. You're still in the game. No, I'm not changing it. Do you it's, know how much time I spent he... on that logo? It looks exactly like Come. If you zoom <laughs> in on it, the logo? Yeah, dude, it, there's you. a cloudiness to it. I like designed. <laughs> There's like four different layers. Not only is it like embosed, but in different areas, it's lumpier. Yes. This, is, so, this is how Dan, you know, Dan's a good friend. He's trying to gently push us to change it. He's not going to say, yeah. don't, he's not going to say straight up, change it. It's stupid to have a podcast with the word come in it. He's like, oh, we got a better one. I yeah. think it's smart. I think it's a smart thing to do. <laughs> I like don't, how mad Nick is. Yeah, but I think you're not going to get people that want to hear this. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to hear people talking about come or fucking. <laughs> Uh, we're number twenty-five on the comedy charts. <laughs> oh. Two episodes. <laughs> so I'm not even on the charts. My album is out though. Go to iTunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, let, uh, let's plug all of Dan's stuff because Dan's great. Uh, one of the best comics working. Thanks, uh, absolutely. Yeah, no. At Dan Soder on Twitter and Instagram, and go buy my album. Not special on iTunes. Yeah, and check out the new special on Comedy Central or you Thanks. know. Yeah, I think it's it. on like. When this comes out, you'll be able to download it on iTunes or the Comedy Central app. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've been like a huge fan of yours since we did that South By. Thanks, man. That's when I met the girl in my always... dreams who has a boyfriend and I think she's married. Oh, the one with the nice jizz yeah. that I run Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's how we end on a come note. But yeah, thanks for coming, dude. Yeah. Thanks for doing it. Hey. So much <laughs> better than Adam. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, I like that. <laughs> <Just reiterate. laughs> All right. Goodbye, folks. Thanks, come boys. Because I'm